and welcome to this guide. We are going to be looking at how to put together the Foundations production line and we're going to be aiming, um, as you know from the title, we're going to be aiming um, to produce uh, 7,200 times 2, about 14,400 um, Foundations per minute. And this is going to make use of the recent addition to this game, so you can see we're using proliferation, we're using stacking and we're using this has been around for a long time this sort of combining in this way but um anyway um the way i'm going to structure this is that i'm going to show you all of the production lines that it takes to make this uh, to put this together um so as you probably know foundations are made of steel and stone brick um, which are made of um uh, uh sorry steel is then made of um iron ingots it's like right in front of us um so we're going to show you the iron ingot production line the steel stone brick production line and the steel production line and then we'll also show you the um foundations production line okay thank you research now all of these are going to be aiming to on the output have the output material proliferated and produce four stacks of everything. So if we just delete this, um, then you'll see that this is going to settle into four stacks eventually, as you can, as this already is. Um, this is just needs to clean out some of the lower stack, but now you can see that it's just straight four stacks. Okay. So for the steel production, the way it works is that there is. Um, three steel ingots, uh, three iron ingots produce one steel, right? So that's going to occupy four ports per, um, per sort of full steel, right? And that means basically that if we also have to proliferate going, we can only put together um, this many lanes, so basically two lines of it. And then we are producing at the maximum rate, which you can see we are just steadily producing an incredible amount of this steel. The main challenge is how do you get this output to a four stack? The rest is pretty simple, right? Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is actually put together the um, enough of these smelters to produce one full output belt, right? And the way that that happens is that um, this produces um, every three seconds. So it produces one every three seconds, right? So on a mat free belt, we can have 30 output materials per second, right? Then it takes three of these machines by default, um, few of the mat one machines to produce enough, right? But we are using the mat two, so they're twice as fast. So we divide it by two. And then we're going to use the Mac 3 proliferate with the production speed up plus 100% um, to divide it by two again. So then we have 22 and a half of these um, Mac 3 um, plane smelters that we need, uh, Mac 2 plane smelters that we need to fill up one belt, right? So that's what all of this production, this first bunch is, is that is 22 and a half, which is essentially 23. Um, of these plain smelters that we have here. Right. And then once we have one of these stacked up, right, then we need one of these automatic pilots, which um, will go from a single stack to a double stack, as you can see here, right? This is a single stack, then this is a double stack. Right, but this is then only going to be at half the rate. You're gonna have a double stack at 15 per second, right? So then we need another one of these double stacks, right? Which is essentially another one of these lines, which we'll show you in a minute down there. Okay, then how do we combine them? Well, we use one of these splitters. Um, if you take one of these splitters by default, um, by default it works like this, but if you press tab a couple of times, uh, once, then you get a different kind of splitter. Um, and it means that we can easily combine these two belts into one, right? But then you have a full belt of double stacked, right? So then we need another one of these automatic pilots 
to get it to half a belt of the quad stack, right? And then a similar concept. We need another quad stack belt here, another one of these splitters, and then we have quad stack on the output, and then we apply proliferate so that, you know, we are only using proliferated materials. Did you get that? <laughs> it's quite a bit of stacking and proliferation going on. Okay, so then the second belt, right? The interesting bit is that, okay, after the automatic piler, you then need to lift it up by two. Why by two? Well, because you have to get it above this automatic piler, right? Then after, at the end of this automatic piler, you go down one level and you turn into this splitter, right? Okay, and then after we've done two of these, we get to basically the same point here, right? We have um, a half a belt of quad stacked steel, right? So the output of this just needs to be lifted to three and then taken all the way to the front and then merged. Right, so now you know how to get a quad stack on the output. Then on the input, it's a little bit annoying because three of these belts produce one of these output belts, right? So basically, um, after one and a bit, we have to merge this in, right? And the way to figure that out is that we have 22 and a half, right? Times four, and then we divide by three. So after 30, we have to merge these in. Now because of the half, it's not 100% clear. So that's why I've gone just past the 30, and then just use these splitters to refresh some of these belts, right? And then of course the second um, merging needs to happen after 60, right here. And if you get this slightly wrong, it doesn't really matter too much. It's only going to reduce the output by a very small amount, but uh, yeah. And then it's just basically copying this and putting down the second line. Now this is a very long production line, but um, that's just the way that it is. It's, I would have preferred to essentially draw two input belts uh, on the end, uh, like have these sort of combine. But the problem is that we don't really go nicely into two, so it would have been pretty messy to do this. But um, anyway, now that's it. that is the steel production. And then if you go into the um, description you will find a blueprint a link to the blueprint where you can get this um, and then the way it's going to look is that there's going to be the um, foundations where are they um, uh, i've lost the foundations c d f foundations right there's three so we'll take you through, through all three and then i haven't quite finished, I don't think, the um, foundations production line, so I'll add that as well. But yeah, that's this is the steel, um, the steel blueprint. Okay, now, we're going to switch to the stone brick, but the iron ingot works in a very similar way. Um, in this case, we actually have um, four lanes that we can do, because these are more compact and they don't take as many belts. Other than that, they work in a very similar way, right? Of course, we have our inputs and everything gets proliferated, even if we later re-proliferate. Like in this case, we are getting the proliferated iron ingots, but then we're re-proliferated. But I'm not always sure whether I'm getting proliferated um, iron ingots, right? Um, so it's always good to just double it up and make sure that it's fully proliferated. Okay, so let's just focus on one line. So this works in a very similar way. We need, these would be two half belts of um, stone bricks that get merged into a full belt. And then again, we have this automatic piler. Um, and then we have this splitter that takes the two half double stacked belts um, and then piles it up. And then the stone brick is on a little bit nice of a cycle, so it takes one second to produce. So if we do the maths, right, um, we have 
30 30 items per second they get produced at one per second um, then we get to divide by two because we're using the mark two smelters then we get to divide by two again uh, because we are using the proliferate to double the production rate here now in this case i've made a mistake so i'll fix that um, and update the blueprint and that i actually had it set to the extra output material which is not right i want the production speed up the 100 percent production speed up so anyway that's why we only need um uh seven and a half although then you put down eight right and then the rest works in a very similar way right we just have a bunch of these and then we use automatic pilots and then we lift it above and so on very similar to the steel um then if we go over to the iron, which is, hopefully we find it quickly. Um, here we go. Here's the iron ingot. Now the iron ingot works in basically exactly the same way. It happened to have the correct production speed up set. Um, but instead of iron ingots, uh, instead of stone, it does iron ore. Right. Other than that, it's exactly the same, because the recipe is just slightly different, but then works in a very similar way. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up the stone brick production, and then we'll go to the production line of the foundations. So I'll be back in one moment. Okay, um, and this is the foundations production line. Now in this case, um, I just because I knew that it was only going to be two, I could have done this with the steel line as well, actually. But anyway, because I knew it was only going to be two, I actually didn't use verticality, I used horizontality um, to aggregate these output lines. But other than that, it works in basically exactly the same way. It's just that the, the production rates here are um, one second. So again, I don't need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, because um, if we go 30 um, divided by 1.5, because these have a 1.5x speed, right? And then divided by 2 for the 100% production boost, we get 10 exactly. And then the other difference is that this merging happens after basically 13, right? The merging of the next stone input lane. Um, and then, of course, 26. So. I don't know, it works in a very similar way. Now, we are actually proliferating the foundations. And if you didn't know, what happens is that if we take the proliferated foundations um, and we hover over it, it actually says, if you use this foundation, additional soul powers can be obtained or reduce the cost of soul powers. Basically, what it's saying, and I assume this is 25%, right? We get 25% more soil pile from doing this. And if we, um, you know, if we are paving over, let's say a uh, lake or something like that, I know there's a lake somewhere over here. Um, it's going to be cheaper in terms of the foundation. So that's pretty nice. I don't think I'm gonna use anything other than um, proliferated foundations going forward. Um, so yeah. That is the, uh, we already spent all of those foundations. Um, that is the foundations blueprint. Um, and you can see it's now all producing. Um, and in the description, you'll find a link to these um, foundations, if I can find them again, where it has every single production line that I just went through with you. So yeah, thank you for watching and until next time, bye.